If you love me, I got a word for the both of us. I'll put you in the driver's seat. Don't gotta hurry in the name of love. When you ride with me. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine, also known as Jazzy Mina on YouTube. And welcome back to another video for our marathon this week. This week, I'm going to be doing this really cute blue cherry croquette vibe set. It is so cute, yet so simple. And I'm going to show you how I created it in this video. To begin, I always have... Uh, my prep done so I just e-file off the top and just buff the nail so that we have a rough surface to work on and then I'm gonna go in with one layer of beetles base gel and then I'm gonna cure it for 60 seconds and of course every time I start these videos y'all I forget to put my gloves on so that's what I'm doing right now After I add the Beatles base show, I'm going to go in with this nude color that comes in a six, a set of six from Beatles. And I believe I showed this in one of my previous videos. I typically use these um, nudes a lot for my bases. So most likely you guys have seen them often. Um, the color that I'm using in this one is on the top. And I believe it's D... Um, 846. I'm going to be adding a total of three layers of this nude base gel so that I can reach the opacity of the set that you can see on the mat in the screen. And then in between each one of those layers, I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds. Y'all are going to see I'm flipping this bottle up, right, left. The bottles don't really have much in them honestly um i was able to get a few sets out of them and maybe even mix them with some of my other base nudes but i would definitely suggest uh getting the bigger bottles of these but if you're not sure what kind of like base color you like like if you like more of a pink base or if you like more of a, a peachy neutral base um i would definitely suggest getting this set um beetles kit I will have this listed in the description box for you to check out. Um, so yeah, enjoy.
Once all three layers of the nude base gel dries and cures fully, I'm going to go in with my Beatles top coat. Again, you can find this on Amazon and it's really, really good. I use a top coat in between my base and then whatever design I'm going to put on top because I know for a fact, honey, that I'm going to need some acetone. I'm going I'm to need to clean up something. And so to prevent from damaging all of the hard work and product that I've used in this base, um, I put a top gel so that we can uh, preserve it and the acetone don't eat through uh, my base coat. So yeah, I'm only putting one layer of this Beatles top gel and then I'm gonna cure it for 60 seconds. The color that I'm using for my French tip in this set comes from this set of gel polishes that I got. I can't pronounce the name of the brand, but it does start with a J, and I will have it listed in the description below the set. Um, I like the colors on this set. I think that the pigment is really great. Um, the only downfall that I would have is the size of the bottles. I mean, I got the sets for a very affordable price on Amazon. So it's not really a bad thing per se, but I do wish that I was able to buy uh, bigger size bottles of those colors. Um, that would be my only like negative. But other than that, the color payoff is great. Um, I actually love the polishes and I'm going to be using one of them in this set today. And it is this like sky blue kind of color. And I'm going to be using that to create my French for this set. For this set, I'm going to go in and do the French chips for each one of the nails one by one. And then I'm going to cure each finger for 30 seconds underneath my UV lamp. So you're going to see me do a French tip, then put it under the lamp, and then sit it on my table, and then just repeat this for all of them until they're all ready to be cured for a total of 60 seconds.
here is the fun part of doing this set. It is the stickers and the rhinestones that I got to put on this set. I am using the kind of like 3D-ish um, cherry and flower stickers that I have. But I'm only using the cherries that's on there. And then I'm also using my flat bows that I got. As well as these red rhinestones that are in this container here. I will be putting the link for all of these items in the description box. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested in any of the accessories that I'm using on this set today. The final step for this set is applying another layer of the Beatles Top Gel. I'm going to be applying one coat of this on each one of the nails. And I'm going to cure the entire set for 60 seconds. Wait. 120 seconds. Sorry. And I'm going to make sure that I'm not um, putting Top Gel over the rhinestones. Apparently it takes away the shine. So we don't do that. Other than that, all the stickers and everything else can get a layer of top gel over them. In fact, the stickers actually look better when you add top gel over them. Um, and so, yeah, I'm adding one layer of this and curing for 120 seconds. I am really, really am in love with how this set has turned out. It is like so cute, so simple. And I just, I'm just in love with it. If you love this set just as much as I do, go ahead and like this video. Thank you guys as always so much for watching and being here. And I hope you guys are enjoying this press on tutorial marathon so far. I have, how many days do we have? I'm not sure, but I have some really cute and cool sets that I've done coming up and i can't wait for you guys to see them all 
thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.